We're here with Dr. Richard Carlton of the Fine Gold Association, an activist group taking a stand against artificial food coloring. He believes federal health authorities are failing to safeguard our food and a generation of children are suffering the consequences. Um, now, Dr. Carlton, one of the things I learned from you is that these colors are made from petroleum and they are contaminated with heavy metals, things like lead, arsenic, and mercury, things that have been linked to hyperactivity and even autism. How is that? Why are they, these things allowed? That's a wonderful question. Why are these things allowed? <clears throat> it's very difficult for the food industry, the dye manufacturers, to get rid of those toxins, the lead, cadmium, mercury. Um, so it's expensive, so they don't do a very good job at it. And the FDA says, well, okay, you're allowed to put one part per million. Right, 10 parts per million of lead. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so these are powerful retardants that cause re retardation. Right, and part of the problem is a study, I don't know if it was done by the Fine Gold Association, but a couple of scientists picked up some foods, dyes, tested them, and found out that in those particular instances that the dyes had far more, far higher level than the allowable limit. That's right. So even no one's actually checking to see that they're within the regulations. That's right. The FDA is playing this little game of c calling generally recognized as safe. G-R-A-S. They're saying, well, these are grandfathered in. You don't have to prove that they're safe. We just accept that they're safe. They don't do that with medications. Thank God they do what they do with medications. You really got to prove that it's efficacious and safe. Not so with these additives. It's a mm -hmm. huge experiment going on. And one of the points I'd really love to make is that ladies who are pregnant, please don't take prenatal vitamins that have artificial colors and flavors. You can get prenatal vitamins that don't have additives. Go to the health food store, even some of the good drug stores, they'll have those. But don't expose your fetus to these kinds of dyes. And now, I was surprised to learn that these dyes have also been li linked to tumors. The Center for Science and the Public Interest website says that yellow dye number six causes tumors of the adrenal glands and kidneys. Yes, and <laughs> bladder, yeah. But the FDA reviewed those same studies and says that yacht number six does not pose a significant cancer risk. So they it's interpreted the data in a completely different way. Yeah, it's always a game they play with what's significant. What, you know, if, does that mean 5% of people will get cancer from it? And that's okay because 95% don't? Right. One other point I really want to make is that in Europe, the European equivalent of the FDAS manufacturers to remove dyes, and apparently they are for the most part off the shelves. Even American, all these companies are probably multinational, are making products that have dyes and products that don't, and the Europeans are eating the ones that don't, that yes. actually have blueberry juice or strawberry juice. That's right, because the European Health Agency, looking at the same data that the FDA, FDA looked at, 80% of the kids are reacting, get rid of it. So they banned it, and the food industry is coping with it over there. Over here, they're getting a pass. Right, so why are we second-class citizens? <laughs> We're second-class citizens because our regulatory agencies are giving a pass to it. Actually, the Center for Science and the Public Interest agrees with you. They say some food dyes are neurotoxic and wants them banned. Well, certain drugs can provoke the release of those neurotransmitters. For example, cocaine, mm. Ritalin, mm -hmm. and some antidepressants. Right. Well, guess what? The National Institutes of Health did a study in the 1980s published in Science, a very prestigious journal, showing that if you take rat brain and you take those synapses and you add red number 40 or red number 5, I'm not sure anymore what it, what it was, but one of those red dyes, you cause the discharge of that neurotransmitter from the vesicles into the synapse. Well, that's a drug.